Hello everyone, Ron here from Altail Tutoring Central, and I am back with a cool collection of collocations, just to use a little alliteration. I don't think I've talked about alliteration in any of my more recent videos. I'll have to do that. It's another literary device that we haven't covered. But in this case, it's collocations, and I've done a number of collocations. I'll put a link in the description so you can go and check out the playlist for that, for those. There's also playlists for idioms and storytelling and other playlists if, if you want to check it out and watch them all in the same place. Some people like to do that. Uh, just before we head into the collocations, if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, that helps the channel a lot. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and donated to the channel. There's a way to do that in the description as well, so you can check that out. Uh, also, of course, I do my in-person tutoring if you're local, online tutoring if you're not. If you're interested in learning more, you can shoot me an email or check out the website. There's links uh, in the description and also links on the slides as well. So there's always a way to uh, get in touch. All right, let's get into the collocations. First, we have against the law. It just means illegal or not legal. For example, speeding through a red light is against the law. In other words, you're not supposed to be speeding and you're not supposed to be running a red light. So they're both against the law or not legal. Or stealing is against the law. Again, something that is illegal to do is against the law. Impose conditions. This means to set requirements that must be met. For example, Phil received bail, but the judge imposed conditions on his movements. So Phil has been accused of something, had to go to court, and he's received bail. Somebody paid money for him to get out of jail or to stay out of jail. But there are certain conditions. He may not be able to leave a certain area or he may have to give up his passport, etc. There are conditions or requirements that have to be met in order for him to have his freedom. Or the condominium association imposes conditions on the kind of decorations one can use. So if you are in a condominium, there's an agreement and they often have a lot of uh, set requirements or stipulations, things that you are allowed to do and things you are not allowed to do. So they impose conditions, in this case, on what kind of decorations you can use. You may be able to only use certain colors or sizes, etc. Now we have join a club, which just means to become a member of a certain group. For example, Betiel decided to join the games club at school. So there's a certain group or a certain club at school that plays games and Betiel has decided to become a member or join the club. Or would you like to join the book club? Same idea really. It could be a book club in the community or again it could be at a school uh, or some other group. But basically it's asking if you want to become a member of this group or a member of this club to join the book club. Live at home means often live with your parents. There's a literal meaning, living in your own home, but uh, really, usually when we say this expression, we mean live with your parents. For example, Marcus decided to live at home to save for a car. So Marcus needs to save up a substantial amount of money, and it would be a lot easier for him if he weren't paying rent. So he's living with his parents so that he can save up this money. Sometimes people uh, do that to save up for their own home. Of course, if you're living in the home in this picture, you might not never want to leave. <laughs> or do your children still live at home? And that means, are they still living with you, the parents? It doesn't mean, are they living in their own house or own home? Because that would be a bit strange of a question to ask. Uh, do your children still live at home means, are they still living uh, with you, their parents? Finally, we have pack a suitcase or pack a bag or pack your luggage. It all means basically the same thing, putting your clothes and, and maybe other accoutrements that you need in a container to travel. For example, next week I'm off to Paris, so I must pack my suitcase. Just means to put all your clothes and the other things that you need to travel into your suitcase. Or we're only staying for a couple of days, so just pack a bag. Often when we say just pack a bag, it could be a suitcase, but generally we mean something small. It could be a small suitcase, but it could literally be a knapsack or some other small bag in the, because we're only staying for a couple of days. So usually when we say 
pack a bag, and especially if we say just pack a bag, it means something small. You don't need a lot of clothing. You don't need a lot of things for a couple of days. Well, there you go. A few more collocations to add to your list to practice and, and use them and, and get into more familiar English speaking the way uh, real Canadians do. <laughs> well, Canadians, Americans, British, there's, there's some minor differences, but uh, a lot of the expressions are understood uh, across many English countries, but each one has their own uh, different expressions as well. But there's a few collocations for you that, that I'm aware of uh, to add to your list. And remember, there's a playlist if you want to check out all the others. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you do. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, all of that helps, and I appreciate all the support that you have given me. The channel's growing nicely. So thank you, viewers. Until next time, keep learning, keep having fun. It's Ron from LTL Tutoring Central. Bye-bye for now.